the second word, is taken from the Gospel of St Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingly power. And he said to him, Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. These words of divine promise are the crucified's response to the criminal's twofold confession. Confession of his own guilt and confession of his faith in Jesus. We are receiving the due reward of our deeds, the good thief retorts to the bad thief, but this man has done nothing wrong. Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingly power. St Ambrose comments that the Lord always gives more than one asks. The thief only asks him to remember him, but the Lord says to him, today you will be with me in paradise. And similarly, we can note St Augustine's teaching. God is ever prepared to embrace penitent sinners. If we, like the thief, turn to him with contrite hearts and ask him for forgiveness, Jesus will forgive us. Jesus, God saves. The Emmanuel, God with us. Here on the cross, Jesus hangs in agony and promises this man paradise with him forever. Before this moment, the gates of paradise had been barred shut to us poor creatures. This repentant criminal is the man Jesus chose to be the first to cross into, with him into the eternal presence of God. Why him? Is it perhaps because in his own agony, the thief allowed himself to see true love shining forth before his eyes and to allow that love to penetrate and transform his soul? In this short yet intimate dialogue between Jesus and the thief, the thief entered into himself and dramatically encountered the fear of God that had been gifted to his soul. His succinct appeal to Jesus expresses his deepest desire. Please, Lord, may I not be flung into the bottomless pit of destruction where I deserve to be, there to be forgotten forever in the flames of hell. Please, Lord, remember me. Hold me in your heart when you are in your heavenly bliss. From the depths of his heart, he appeals to the one who is memory incarnate. Keep me in your mind, hold me in your heart, and dare I say it, have mercy on me, Lord, for I have sinned. You are all powerful, almighty. For you nothing is impossible. Please remember me. This man's appeal is not for Jesus to remain with him, but, ra but rather for him to be allowed to remain with Jesus. This profound request to be drawn into and caught up in the heart of God, to dwell in the eternal abode, is granted immediately. Today, you will be with me in paradise. The good thief's profound awe before the mystery of the suffering of the eternal innocent one draws him into that same mystery. The mystery of love, God in us and we in God. The mystery of the indwelling Trinity. Knowing Jesus, we know the Father. Knowing the Father, we gain eternal love, as St John the Evangelist teaches. Hanging from the cross, this criminal knows Jesus. He sees him with the eyes of faith, graced by the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This encounter opens up for him, and for all of us who are in need of forgiveness, the gates of paradise. And so we pray. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I have sinned against you. May I be graced with all before you, and experience now in this life your indwelling, the mystery of time touching eternity, and so enjoy it forever in paradise.